Hey collectors, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a uh, Figma number 403, which is Suzia Kai 2. I hope I got that right. This is from the Kankoli range and I absolutely love these figures. Um, ah, they're so cool. So let's have a look. First of all, we have this lovely window display where we can see her two faces, the attachments that you get, as well as the figure. There is a lovely um, image of her. And then on the back, we have the multiple ones that you can put in. So you've got her doing these poses. Two different faces that you get are the a kind of sad face and a winky face. And then obviously you have a happy face right there. On the top is just her there. And on the bottom is the same one. So let's open up this bad girl and have a look inside. So these are some of the accessories that you get with this figure. Obviously you get the figure, you get the kind of the boat that goes on behind now this is one thing that annoyed me and i've spent about 20 minutes looking one of these like fell off um and i couldn't find it for a while um so just be careful they do spin but they do come out quite easily uh we have two of the different heads or faces should i say that's my favorite one so far hands and obviously the kind of stand as well as more artillery for her so let's have a look at the actual figure here is the figure i have got to admit i really love the face i think it is playful i think it looks cool and I'm really liking the figure so far. So let's have a look. First of all, we have a lovely green hair, I think, or is it turquoise? But I love the hair. I think it really stands out and makes the figure. Then obviously we have the eyes. They look, they stand out. I think there's kind of like a, a, a swirl in them as well a little bit, but I think it's cool. I really like her cute um, smile. And I think also the jacket as well as the kind of red bow is amazing um I, the kind of it's like a butterscotch it looks a bit like toffee fla uh, flavored a uh, toffee looking color uh for her school outfit and then obviously we've got the what's the jumper isn't it and then we've got the shirt in the middle um i think this is a really nice figure even on the jacket it looks fine and i thought this was part of a stand but i keep forgetting that the can collies they have these like things that clip on underneath um so i think that looks really really cool um it does stand out and I love the way that her hair kind of co comes off to this side. As we come down we can see her skirt, it's frilly, uh, it's got the kind of like double layered but it is kind of a, it's not a soft plastic but it's kind of middle, I'd say in the middle of hard and soft so kind of the middle part. Uh, then we've got her cannons or her weapons here, um, they can move about or I think you can move these up um, to attack, uh, let's have a quick go, let's just see, yeah so you can move them around if need be so they do kind of twirl but we'll find out that more in the kind of articulation test um but yeah it attaches to the top of her socks um and then obviously it goes down into uh, the kind of like brown socks moving down very briefly to her feet they're pretty much exactly the same as most of them they have the rudders on the back um, there's some slight um detail on the actual like tongue of the shoe um just be careful because when i pulled this out of the box uh, the foot was a lot sided, uh, lopsided, shall I say. So I had to then kind of pick it up, move it a little bit, and then kind of like uh, sort it out properly. Uh, it did fix it a bit, but majority of it is still the same. Um, but it's a lovely kind of grey, and it's got a bit of red underneath. At the back, again, as I mentioned, it's kind of elevated. You've got the rudders there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then obviously we've got the kind of the normal parts of the sock so we can see the detail there. Looking at the back we see that you can see her jumper coming down here. Then you've got more of the skirt and it's all detailed at the back. And then here you have the lovely um, way that the uh, the ships will like uh, attach as normal as all the others um, or if you wanted to you can attach the stand uh, we can see that on here we uh, you've got more of the jumper uh, it just peeks through underneath um, the actual jumper or the top itself we can see more detail along the cannons here um, as well looking at the back of here we can see that it's pigtails it looks like it's pigtails but it is on the joint that we've seen with everyone so you can pretty much twist the hair if need be uh, and put it anywhere as I hit the camera. Um, so it kind of does lean, like make, it does make the head lean over that way a little bit, but you can recenter it if need be. Um, we also have the kind of detail uh, smooth at the top, but then also you've got the ruffles all in there as well, which is pretty nice. But let's have a look at what you get. Let's stress test this as we always do. You know it comes, you know it's there. So the feet are absolutely fine. And then that's move the leg legs fine legs 
fine. Hand goes all the way around, or well, the arm, should I say, it also bends. Articulation's fine right there. Arm up and down, moves around, it bends. Go all the way around. Now, I always forget, like most of the figures I've reviewed, like the body moves. So you can't like, this one doesn't, it only has certain things. The head, so let's bring the head down. So the head can turn all the way around if you want it to. It moves up and down. Let's look at the hair. So the hair turns as well. So you can have it, oh, you can have it multiple ways. That's really cool. I don't really look at the hair. But yeah, you could have it like that if you wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna have it back to default like so. But there we go. Let's play with the faces. So the hair comes out really quick, uh, easily. That's actually, oh, now the face is gonna take, oh no, you, that's, oh, okay. Um, I thought it would take a while. Now I'm also, oh, okay, is this the one? It's like, they come off easily, but they won't be put back on. Uh, no, I've got to, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. They've upped their game a tiny bit. Um, so this is my favorite face. Yeah, I think that looks really cute. That to me is the winner. That might be one of my possibly all time favorite faces. <laughs> and then the last one, which. Ah, duh. There we go. And that's like, is that a normal one? Nope. That is her kind of, oh, I'm a sad face. Why? It even really works with the hair the way that it is. It's just kind of perfect. It's kind of awesome. I like it. The accessories that you get, uh, for one of the things you have to pull off the head to attach this. So basically, oh, no, it goes over like that. So you have to do it like so and then pop the head back in uh, for that one. So it clicks so she can have the board. Um, and then obviously you put this in now. Be very careful with this because I really don't want to break that. That I really wish that was more kind of sturdy or a little bit thicker um, because it feels like it could break if you put it down in the wrong way or if you have it on display, it just could easily fall off. So attach the stand if you're gonna do that. Um, also, when you're attaching these, you don't particularly want to push too hard in case it slips and snaps. So that is one thing that does kind of, ugh. I'm only gonna put it like that so you can see. Um, so it does attach like so. And then the other option is this is a weapon that she can hold at the very end. Um, so just be careful. So yeah, it would just go in the hand. So just be careful when you have this figure because if it does fall and snap, I don't want you to kind of break it and go, what, and get angry at it. So yeah, that's pretty much how you attach the accessories. So there we go, collectors. There is Suzia Kai 2 from the Kang Collie range. I've got to admit, this is a really, really nice figure. Um, I've got, I, mean, I thought I'd be reviewing it a little bit longer, but it feels like it's a very quick review, um, but it looks really nice. The I love the detail on the figure. I love the winky face. I think that is awesome. Um, and I absolutely love the Can Collie range when the figures come out. They're just so cool. They're just so amazing. But when will they stop? How many are there? If you know, let me know down below in the comments. The only kind of downside that I will say about this is the is this this bad boy it's just these that i'm very worried so when you uh, when you put it back in the box and when you take it out the box make sure that it's absolutely fine that you don't want to kind of ruin it or kind of like make it like snap off or anything like that so just be very very careful but apart from that the figure is great uh, the accessories there aren't that many which is kind of good um so i'm guessing that she's not much of an attack or something like that maybe she's a defense um she's a defense uh ship but yeah, I think that's about it, really. So, collectors, what are your thoughts on this? Would you collect this figure? Would you not? Um, are you into the Kang Collie range? Let me know down below in those comments. And if you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and consider subscribing. Check that cheeky notification bell for to be updated with more videos like this. And as always, collectors, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.